the way I saved up money for my first property purchase was my 401k at work. I mean, most people have a 401k and it's tax deferred savings and you can take it out. You can take out a hardship for a first time home buyer or you can take a loan from it and you can get the down payment out, you know, taking a distribution. But, you know, it's pre-tax and it's going to be earning in the market. So I would maximize that as much as you can. And you can't see it. It's automated. And try to build that up. You know, if you, if you can put 10% of your income away, maybe it takes you a year or two to get that down payment. And then hopefully the stock market goes up during that time and then you're good. And I think that's the easiest way because it's out of sight, out of mind, automatic. And you don't have to worry about it. If you don't have a 401k, you should set up some kind of automatic savings plan or investing. Um, there's, there's things where you can just have it auto drawn from your account, going into a mutual fund. There's, there's, um, there's a company called, a website called Invest5, where you can invest $5 a day into the S&P 500, uh, something like that. You know, just set it up, set it and forget it, and then look back on it in a year or two, and you might have a down payment, and might be able to make an investment that changes your life. And that's what you should try to do.